Our next inductee, Dathan Ritzenheim, cross country, 2001 to 2004. Before Dathan turned professional after his junior year at CU, he was the individual champion of the 2003 NCAA Cross Country Championships. A six-time All-American, twice in cross country, twice in the indoor 5,000 meters, and twice in the outdoor 5,000. He was also a six-time Big 12 individual champion, winning titles in four different events, cross country, indoor three, the indoor five, and the outdoor five. Still holds the CU outdoor records he set in 04 for the 3,000-meter run of the 10K. In fact, he still owns the second-best time in the 3K as well. Professionally, his many accomplishments included being a three-time USA Olympic team member, three-time USA cross-country champion. Think of... Uh, Think of this number for a moment. Over the course of his high school, college, and professional careers, he won an outright amazing total of 52 major events combined between amateur and professional. A three-time U.S. Olympic team member in 04, 08, and 2012. Three-time world team member 07, 09, and 13. He retired from professional racing after a 16-year career in May of 2020. He's since relocated back here to Colorado, Niwot in particular, where he's the head coach of the on Athletics Club, a professional track team based here in the Boulder area. And now he's a Hall of Famer here at the University of Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, Dathan Ritzenhein. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> so when, uh, when Rick called me, about this a few months ago. A little bit of a different experience. Like he said, I just recently, over the last year and a half, relocated here to back, to back to Boulder and brought my family here. I took a job coaching, and we just happened to uh, be recruiting a great star here, Sage Herda, who was a last year CU Athlete of the Year, right? <laughs> She's sitting over there at the table. So... When I got off the plane from a meet, and I had a voicemail from Rick, and first thought in my head was, why would he be calling me? Did I commit some NCAA violation when we were recruiting her? And so, and so I debated about calling him back for a day. Um, but lo and behold, we signed her, and, uh, and I'm so happy to be back here in Boulder. And so life has come a little bit full circle for me. Uh, as Mickey said, uh, setting foot in Boulder on CU campus really did change the trajectory for my life too. Uh, I'm now, I had an amazing career as, at CU, uh, professionally as well, and now I'm doing something I love which didn't include my history degree that I got from here. I get to coach people, and so I know a lot more about running than I do history, but when I, when I set foot here on this campus, um, it was a special place. It was really, it was just amazing. I came from Michigan, and one of my really good friends is sitting here at the table, Ed Torres. Um, him and his brother, who were uh, both on the NCAA winning team with us in 2001, and his brother Jorge uh, went on and won the individual NCAA title in the year before I did. Um, those guys brought me into something truly special here, a culture of a team that is still continuing to produce results to this day. Just this past weekend, winning again the Pac-12 championships. When I was here, it was the Big 12s. But, you know, Pac-12s again. And some of the coaches that are still here on the staff, Casey Malone, Lindsey, I think I see Billy Nelson back there, Karen, all these people who were part of the program 20 years ago when I came here, they're still here, and they're still kicking it out, and we still have a chance to win the NCAAs. Our men are ranked second, and the women third, right? I think, and a couple weeks. And that's still being headed up by the same guy, Mark Wetmore, who, when you sit in his office, doesn't seem like the most outgoing guy. Some of you might know him, but he truly is a person that I learned so much from as I went into my career as an athlete, I started off with a big high, but um, a lot of 
a lot of struggle along the way as well. Um, I, my, my, my wife, Kaylin, she moved out here to Boulder at the same time. She ran at CU um, in a time when it was, I was struggling. It was between the years when I was doing great and I was able to go on and win the NCAAs the next year and, and have a pro career. But the things that I learned here from the culture of the team at CU, I was able to take that through my whole career. Uh, I was able to have a long career. I was able to, I'm able to do something I love now as well. And it all came from this place here where you learn about teamwork, where you learn about what's important. So now I have my children here, my best friend who's uh, traveled the world watching me race, two athletes now that I'm coaching. Uh, Joe Klecker made the Olympic team this past year. Uh, he was a CU, uh, CU graduate, <laughs> Olympic team in the 10K. And those people, those people have been so instrumental in my life. And so as I've come back here now, uh, I was away for about 15 years. I lived here, I graduated from here, I went out and I had my career. And when I got the call to take a job to coach a group here, and the first athlete was Joe Klecker, and I couldn't think of another place that I'd want to come back to than Boulder, Colorado. And so I'm so happy to be here, I'm so happy for the alumni club giving us the chance to stand up here, tell our story, Rick for the call, even though it ended up being good on the other side. Um, it really is a truly special place, and um, I'm so happy to be inducted into a great class with the rest of this, uh, this amazing class of 2021. Thank you.